Hey there, I'm Marcos, and today I'll be running you through the new Color Finale version 2.1 release. I'll be showing you how to use some of their new features. There'll be links in the description to uh, Color Finale if you want to check it out. If you don't already own it, some of this stuff is new. Uh, also, if you want to skip ahead, there'll be timestamps. All right, so let's get started. In the previous version 2.0 of Color Finale 2, you could add a mask layer to a clip, uh, choosing to grade either inside the mask or outside of the mask, but you couldn't do both. In version 2.1 release, you can now select the mask for a particular layer and grade both sides of the mask. So in this clip, we have a truck driving on the beach, and right now it's looking pretty cool. We're gonna grade inside the mask, which will be the truck, and then outside of it to make the day look warmer. Uh, so I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So if we drop in the color finale plugin and then select edit layers, we first of all start by adding a group. It's much easier to grade inside and outside the mask with groups. So we call this inside and add a mask layer. Click here. I like to use the beast line. It's much easier to track an object. So if I start clicking around the truck, it'll take a second. I can always modify these points if I need to, um, just by selecting them like this. And yeah, that's how we get a smooth line. Uh, now I'm gonna add a little bit of contrast to the truck um, by raising the highlights, and maybe lowering the shadows. I can also select the vectors tool and maybe change the hue, the luminosity of the blue. That's all I wanna do for now. Uh, now let's create another group and we're gonna name this outside. And we're going to bring this under right click invert parent mask. So it only affects outside of the mask. Here's where we can add warmth to the shadows. And also to the midtones, just make a little bit warmer. You see there, so it added warmth to the outside. You can see it there. Uh, you can also add, we can add a gradient um, to our color grade that only affects this outside mask. So if we add a mask to this, um, there's a gradient tool, bring it down like this. So we're gonna decrease the, the highlights in our sky, expect it like this, right? Go back to the curves, bring down the highlights. And there you can see, we decrease the the highlights in our sky and using the gradient. So that's the finished grade. You can see if I toggle the whole grade on and off, you can see the before and after shots. And so that's how you use the inside and outside masking tool. This next new tool is called the image mask. This tool allows you to use a copy of the clip you're grading to create a tonal mask of itself and enabling you to selectively adjust the midtones. I'm going to show you two grading functions using the image max tool. This one is split toning. First of all, let me dro drop in the plugin, uh, color finale plugin, open the edit layers. I'm going to add a color wheels and rename this uh, remove color because we're going to be dealing with a black and white image and we're going to desaturate this image. You see there. Now I'm going to add uh, a group and create another group within it. The first group, we're gonna name it Inside Mask, or uh, actually Tone 1, not Inside Mask, Tone 1. And this one is gonna be named Tone 2. So if we select again Tone 1, we're gonna add an Image Mask. Select this right here, hit the plus, Image Mask. And we're gonna modify the black and white sliders to make the, the uh, change more pronounced. So if we slide it over, Show the mask. You can see where we're affecting now. Uh, if we add the curves, and we're gonna re be removing blue. There we go, and green, and add a, a little bit of red. We're gonna give it give it this yellow orange look. So we're adding basically colors uh, to the image. Next, I'm gonna add curves to the tone too, but this we have to invert the mask. And we're gonna add again the curves. I'm gonna be taking out uh, red. And a little bit of green. And as you can see there, we created this two-tone image. 
by doing this. I'm going to use the image mask tool to make regular linear video look cinematic by adding or enhancing local contrast. Here's a guy on a motorcycle. Uh, next, I'll bring up the layers uh, and add a color wheels, uh, which I'll then add a image mask to it. We select here, add image mask. And this will use the tonal distribution of the image to drive the mask. So I'm gonna blur this mask. This will then control my shadows. Image mask doesn't break the shadows as, as other masking te techniques might. Instead, it nicely wraps the shadows around the detailed area. So if I go back to the color wheels, I can add uh, a little bit of brown, uh, yellow tint to the shadows. You can see there. Notice that I haven't crushed the blacks with this tool. I'm simply adding shadow details to the areas you'd expect to see them. Um, lastly, I can balance this effect. Actually, add a little bit more. I can balance this effect by bringing down a little bit of the highlights to make it look more filmic. So that's local contrast using image mask. As you can see, it creates this gorgeous cinematic effect even on standard linear video. Color Finale 2 also has this new sharpness that's been out since December. Uh, if, if you can see, even as I turn it up, it doesn't add a lot of contrast to the image. Um, if we open up the panel, open up the uh, parade, as you see, as I adjust the sharpness of the image, you can see how it creates a perception of detail and has enhancement, but importantly, if you look at the parade scope again, it doesn't change the contrast, which is really what you want. So you can see you can even soften if you go negative. Um, so just, just something to consider if you're looking into Color Finale, it does a really good job with sharpness. Lastly, with the new Color Finale 2 uh, version 2.1, the Final Cut Pro 10 hotkeys have been enabled. So you can use those as you regularly would. So there you have it. Those are the new features from Color Finale. If you found this video useful, please drop me a like. That tells me, hey, make more Color Finale videos. Also, you can drop your comments, questions down below. As always, I appreciate you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.